plant corn. <laughs> okay, now we're planting corn. And this is the technology that helps John work a little better. So what is that over there? This is called a 2020 Seed Sense Monitor. And what this is doing is it's monitoring the population, it's monitoring the singulation, it's monitoring how far apart it's planting the seed. Our goal is to try and get the seed as uniform as possible. Right now I'm trying to plant somewhere between 33 and 34,000. This one should come up, I just stopped, so you can see when you start back up. Anyway, it's, it's coming up there, and you can adjust these things based on your ground speed. If you try to go too fast, it'll tell you that it's doing an inconsistent job, so you need to slow down for the conditions that you're planting in. Um, it tells me how much air, air force or pressure I'm using, downforce pressure. Um, basically, this is the, the lifeblood of making sure that I have confidence when I'm done planting this field that I did everything I could during the planting process to make sure it was done right. Right, to be more efficient, sustainable, exactly. everything like that. When did that uh, technology come into play, really? I've had this monitor for three, three years. Um, this was developed by a fellow named Greg Salter out, and I think it's in Illinois or somewhere. But um, there's numerous other companies make products like this. Mm -hmm. uh, I just think this is one of the better ones, and I've had really good luck with it. Um, as you can see, it's got back up to where it's, you know, 33,000 or so population. It's basically a seed every six inches. Okay. Wow. That's amazing. The monitor down here is the one that's controlling the steering. So, okay. Because okay. I'm not steering. Right. <laughs> this You're is, talking a lot with your hands. <laughs> yeah. Th this is a, a 2600 display, a John Deere display. Uh, it's running off satellites and it'll give me positioning of what satellites and which where. I usually run between seven and ten satellites and they'll pop up on the screen here and tell me where those satellites are located. And depending on basically how many satellites you have in each qu quadrant, the more in each quadrant the better because it triangulates and you get a more accurate signal. Wow. So right now I'm basically running on basically 100% accuracy. You can see the bar. 3D wow, cool. SF2 is clear up in the green. And you can see yourself right there, just like on the GPS in the car. And then this particular planter doesn't have it. They do make planters now where if you start to overlap or something, you can see where it's painting the field blue. That's where I've already planted. If you start to overlap, it'll automatically shut certain rows off so that you don't waste the seed and you can be a lot more efficient with okay. the money you've spent on those inputs. Oh, so you're coming to the end here and you're not steering. What happens when you get to the end? <laughs> Well, I have to turn at the end. <laughs> but Does it alert you at all? It'll, be, it'll wake me up. Okay. There, are, There is technology available. It's called iTech Pro, which you can get on this display that will actually make that turn for you. I'm just going to give a little view down here from what it looks like. get almost turned around you just push this little button over here and it'll steer this steering wheel doesn't turn but the tires do. Wow. See? So that's where we just were. When did you start planning? Monday. Monday. You probably saw me get out there and I started digging. Yeah, I did. I, I did. was checking the depth and the spacing. Okay. Because you still have to do that. You know, nothing's going to tell me that I'm planting at the right depth. Okay. You know, so you got to make sure. And then you can't rely on these things 100%. You still got to get out and make sure it's doing the right thing. Sure. It's actually doing what it's telling you it's doing. I put a blend of 1034-0 fertilizer and 28% nitrogen on. Um, I put it beside the row and two inches below the depth of the seed. And uh, the two tanks in the middle are the ones that hold the seed. And the seed gets blown out to the individual rows. And uh, that's where the meters pick it up and singulate it, drop it through the tube, and then plant it. So all those tubes in the middle? 
the tubes in the middle are going to each row, and they're telling me that each row is getting the right amount of fertilizer okay. consistently across all the rows. And if one of them plugs up, the ball that you see in the center of that tube will drop to the bottom. And it'll tell me which row is plugged up. Does that have an alarm on it, or do you have to no, just you keep just checking? Watch it. So the arms on this go out, and that's where they're planting the seed? The arms that are out here, that's, yeah. that's called a marker. Okay. I wouldn't have to be using that to plant because of the auto steer, but I put the mark down because when I come back in later to put nitrogen on with an injector to do side dressing, I can pick up that mark and see which row I need to be in. That's the only reason I have it down now. So what's the purpose of using the chemicals back here, the fertilizer? The fertilizer? Yeah. Well, that's, basi that's basically providing uh, 10340 is nitrogen and uh, phosphorus, and it's basically providing some initial nutrients for the, it's called starter fertilizer, to okay. get the seed started once it starts, you know, root developing, he's got that fertilizer right there available to it, kind of gives it a head start, and uh, then the nitrogen, you know, is just another opportunity to put nitrogen on now so you don't put it all on at once in the growing season, because it needs it at varying stages of development. So that cuts down on uh, the amount of money you have to spend and the amount of mo money that you have to spend on the fertilizer. Yeah. Because you're I, concise about what you're doing. Yeah, you can put it on at different times. You can use a little bit less, exactly. Okay. Thanks for a long day out here tonight. Do you like this part? What? Do you like planting? Oh, I love planting. I plant corn every day, all day. <laughs> I started Monday. I've planted... Uh, I forgot to reset this. I planted uh, basically 420 acres since Monday with wow. this planter. And then I've got a six-row planter that Jason got a worse one he's planting with. Yeah. 